Welcome to CCMP by CCMP Seth. I am your host Seth Souza and I'm going to be discussing uh, an IPv6 technology called ISATAP or Intrasite Automatic Tun Tunneling Addressing Protocol. And what this protocol is used for is to connect IPv4 and IPv6 networks together so uh, clients that only have IPv4 addresses can communicate to an IPv6 network. Now, this is uh, only used for private networks and shouldn't be used uh, for the internet. And this is uh, a, a type of transition technology for IPv6. So if your network is slowly transitioning to IPv6, but IPv4 clients need to connect to the already transitioned clients, then ISATAP is a solution. So. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, configuring it and what uh, what are the main functions for ISATAP is you have uh, what it's called an ISATAP, ISATAP router and then ISATAP clients and what the clients do is this client right here at least in my topology they have zero uh, IPv6 configurations so what the client is going to be doing is it's going to build a tunnel to the ISATAP router and the router will give it an IPv6 address and from there the client will use the tunnel to the uh, ISATAP router and then we should be able to communicate with this IPv6 client over there and vice versa. IPv6 client over here can talk to the ISATAP client on this side. So. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to configure the router and then these two clients and then we should be able to get some pings. So let's bring that up. Console in. Move it into place. So the first thing we do is we got to make sure that the isotop router is set up for IPv6 unicast routing. Now this should already be set up but I'm just double checking and, make, and showing you guys that we need to turn it on because we're already, IPv, we're already running IPv6 on this side of the router so, so it should already be up. But Alright so we did that so now the next thing is to do uh, a tunnel interface so we'll go interface tunnel 1 and let's give it an IPv6 address and we can give it 2001 2, 2, 3 and we'll give it a slash 64 and let's auto sign it a EUI 64 address Okay. next we are going to turn off uh, the default suppress settings for a tunnel interface so by default um, network discovery and router, router advertisements are suppressed in a tunnel interface. So we got to make sure we turn that on so the ISATAP clients will get uh, their addresses automatically. So we'll do IPv6, uh, well, no IPv6, network discovery, router solicitations, and suppress. Do that. And then finish off our tunnel config. So tunnel source is going to be F10 which is this interface right here and do tunnel mode IPv6 IP isotap and then we'll end and that should be all we need to do on our end so now let's go into isotap client 1 bring that up go into config T now I set these uh, clients up um, they are routers, but I took off, I stripped off their routing capabilities, and they're just a, a normal user. So we should be able to ping uh, the interface of the IceTap router via IPv4, and we do good. So now we have to configure the inner, uh, the tunnel interface for the clients. So we'll go interface tunnel one and give it an IP6 address and we'll do an auto config because we wanted to get it from the ISATAP router and let's enable IPv6 on the interface tunnel source is going to be F00 tunnel mode on the ISATAP client side is going to be IPv6 IP that is it and let's specify the destination and this will be the um, IPv4 address of the ISATAP router. 
and that's all we need to do for that. Um, so let me configure IceTap2, uh, IceTap Client2. Let's bring that up. And we're pretty much going to do the same thing for uh, as we did on Client1. So we'll go interface, tunnel1, IPv6 address, let's do an auto config, IPv6 enable, tunnel source, and this guy is going to be F01 which is this interface right here. And then we'll do tunnel mode, IPv6 IP. And then the tunnel destination, 192.168.4.1. All right. And we should be good to go from there. So let's go back to client one, and let's do some show commands. So we'll just show IPv6 interface, tunnel one and let's see what kind of address we got looks like we got a global unicast address and notice that prefix we actually set on uh, the tunnel interface of uh, the isotap router so that uh, router advertisement was sent so we got a global address that's good we also got a link local address that's good and look at here default router is FE80 uh, 5E FE and then this right there that is actually the IPv4 address of the tunnel source and you can see here um, Isotap uses this syntax for its link local address FE80 uh, 0 and then 5E FE and then the IPv4 address um, it puts it in hex so that is what 192.168.4.1 looks like and we should get the similar output in client 2. Show IPv6 interface tunnel 1. And we got a, another one right here. Look at that address. Look at that prefix that we got. That's good. And then the default router for this tunnel is the isotap router. So that's good. So now we should be able to ping some clients. So I'm going to go on isotap client 1 and I'm going to ping this IPv6 client way over here. So I'm going to do ping like 2000 watts ping IPv6 2001 1, 2, 3 uh, with a 2 and look at that we did it. So now we have a IPv4 client pinging an IPv6 client via this isotap tunnel and we should be able to do it from this side as well. Ping IPv6 2001 1, 2, 3, uh, slash 2. There you go. We'll look at that. So this is the demonstration and configuration for an isotap tunnel. Um, and again, this is for private networks and shouldn't be used over the internet. Um, so if you're studying or if you're studying for IPv6 and heard about this ISTAP tunnel, how to configure it and how it's used, uh, hopefully this, this uh, video will help you out. I know it helped me out when I was studying for it. So um, leave a comment below if uh, you have any questions. But I hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.